Hamid Karzai is Afghanistan's first democratically elected president. He was a darling of Western leaders, a far cry from the warlords and religious fundamentalists who ruled parts of the country for decades. South Asian expert Christine Fair. He did what no one else has done, which is he's presided over a problematic but nonetheless democratic transition, and he survived. U.S.-led forces routed the Taliban in 2001, following the September 11th attacks on the United States. Mr. Karzai was chosen to lead an interim government and went on to win two elections. But as civilian casualties continued to mount in the war against the Taliban, President Karzai's relationship with his Western backers grew increasingly strained. He says he has tremendous admiration for the American people, but feels differently about their government. I have complaints and, at times, anger, very strong anger, at the U.S. government, at the way they behaved with Afghanistan and the interest of the Afghan people. U.S. President Barack Obama has promised to pull combat troops out of Afghanistan soon. And by the end of this year, the transition will be complete, and Afghans will take full responsibility for their security, and our combat mission will be over. President Karzai has refused to sign a security agreement that would allow nearly 10,000 U.S. troops to remain in Afghanistan. That worries some analysts like Graham Smith. If the state uh, crumbles, if the uh, security forces continue to lose ground against the insurgency in the districts, his legacy will, you know, will be one that is somewhat bloody. Mr. Karzai has had rocky relations with neighboring Pakistan charging Islamabad with allowing safe havens for insurgent groups who attack targets inside Afghanistan. Pakistani analyst M.T. Ghul. President Karzai's presence in the presidential palace meant constant friction with Islamabad, and I think with the new president coming in, he would be starting with a clean slate. During Mr. Karzai's rule, the economy has grown significantly. Average life expectancy has increased by 20 years, and millions of women have more opportunities. Yet corruption remains rampant. Analyst Christine Fair. Those who have a substantive knowledge of him probably view him as this corrupt dude that has been taking advantage of our troops, taking advantage of our money, um, and really disrespecting the sacrifices. Analysts say gains made under President Karzai are fragile. And with the withdrawal of U.S. combat troops, Afghanistan will now have to stand on its own. Meredith Buell, VOA News, Washington.